in a live stream I did a couple of weeks ago, I had said that this was currently the cheapest way of getting a Geiger counter in the UK. Now to make it a little bit more usable, uh, it is best to make up a probe for it and also to swap uh, the PET100 connector for a BNC. Now I'm going to show you the process of converting this to BNC uh, and then making up a probe out of a BOI33 Geiger Miller tube uh, which will then detect uh, beta and gamma radiation. Uh, it's a fairly quick process. Uh, you're going to need a few bits and pieces to make it. Uh, but all in all, the price comes to around £35, which for a working Geiger counter, uh, especially one that does counts per second and one that is pretty portable, you know, it's an absolute bargain. So uh, let's begin. So the first thing you want to do, just to make it a wee bit easier to have it sitting on the bench, is to remove the battery compartment. Now, the battery compartment uh, incorporates the handle as well. So four screws... Undo that, and then there's two D cell batteries in there, which, if you put them in correctly, have these little plastic tabs to make it easier to get the batteries out. And then that means just you can put the unit upside down, and it just sits a little better. Okay, so with the four screws removed, it just lifts off. And then we have a printed circuit board and there is four screws, one, two, three and four, holding the circuit board onto this metal frame. And to make it easier, just to get down to the uh, where the PET100 cable is soldered on, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to remove this. Um, so we'll remove this out of the way, I will get my solder and iron plugged in and we'll get that wired up. So another jump cut. Okay, and to move this out of the way, you sort of need to push this forward a little bit and that just, the circuit board just comes up and out of the way. Now the speaker as well could probably get in the way. So there's four screws just in front of the speaker here and uh, the speaker just drops out. It's held in by four little clips. So that won't be difficult to remove. So I'll remove all that. I will remove the, the PET100 and I'll solder in uh, the new BNC socket and uh, we'll get this all back together. Okay, so I have soldered in the BNC, which I'll turn around and show you. So the BNC socket is in, and I have the old PET 100 here. It's quite a bulky bit of, quite a bulky little socket. But that is out of the way. So I can screw all this back together. Okay, so I'm just re-tightening up the screws and I always do them angled away from each other. So I always do front one, rear one, front one, rear one, just uh, to avoid over stressing the plastic. And then put that round. I'll just test fit the BNC here just to make sure it's okay. And it is good. Okay, so we're just tightening up the uh, screws now on the handle and um, yeah that was fairly easy um, obviously the soldering part is probably the the hardest bit of the whole thing so if you're if you're not uh, feeling too good about soldering that's probably the uh, the only bit you need to be really worried about right so that is everything back together and uh, I'll just do a battery check just to make sure and it's currently set to about 350 volts. So there we go, there's the unit converted to BNC. Makes it a lot more usable. So um, now I can start making a probe. Okay, here's what I'm gonna to use to make the probes. It is 40 mil, just waste pipe, just PVC pipe. And I'm gonna cut out two lengths of it and uh, make two different probes of different designs uh, just to see which one I prefer. Okay, so here's my designs for the probe. Now I've made two. Um, I've made this one that has an open window and then I've put a little piece of tape inside just to protect the tube. And then that is so that I can connect a telescopic rod to it. 
if I want to. Don't know, that, not too bad. I'm, I'm not, I don't like the way I've cut this out, but it's not too bad. And then I've done this one. Um, I have it ordered end caps and uh, they're on their way. Uh, so I like this one too. Now what I've done with this one is I've put shielding on this side. I've put uh, a little thin piece of lead on this side. So you can do a shielded reading on this side or you can do a normal reading this side. And I've noticed that even with that window not cut out on this, the readings aren't that far off. So I may just stick with this design here. And then inside is the tube. And I've put all this foam around it to stop it rattling around inside. And uh, that is the positive wire and that is the negative wire. And then when I put it in, I make sure to put it so that it's facing the sensitive side of the probe. And then push that up. And then once my end caps come, that'll be totally encapsulated. And then I will obviously have the BNC socket at the bottom there. So yeah, a bit more work to do, but uh, yeah, we're getting there. Okay, it's a couple of days later and I have got the end caps finally. So they will go on there and at the other end. And you can see with this one, I have marked the center and I'm gonna drill a hole in that and then that will allow me to mount the BNC socket onto here. So drill this hole out and then I can attach this and then I can start a bit of soldering. So I have the soldering iron on anyway. Okay, so the hole is drilled and the socket is mounted and I just have to uh, bolt it down now. Okay, there we go. So that's all attached now, and that will go at this end here. So yeah, that looks pretty good. So my soldering iron is hot, so I can start putting these wires in now. Okay, so there we go, all soldered on. And a very, very quick test of the meter. And it is working and the voltage is okay. And it is detecting radiation. So I can turn this off, disconnect this and uh, start putting the rest of it together. So. I have this top one here, so I'll put that on first, there, very very tight, which is really good, and there's the top one on, which is fantastic, in fact I'll unplug the uh, soldering iron, I don't need that on now, yeah that's perfect, and then make sure that the Probe is all the way to the top now, which it is, and then push that down, and then the cabling goes in the top here, making sure I have to double check that the probe is where I want it. Once this is closed, that's sort of it. Okay. Well, the little bit of foam that I had in there was a little bit tight, but it's in there and it's creating a nice gap between all the, the little wiring connections in there and the top of the tube, because obviously I don't want those to touch. Um, so there it is. There is the finished tube. And uh, 
I think as probes go, it looks awesome. Uh, in fact, if you'd bought something like this from Ludlam or other, another dealer, I think you'd be pretty happy with it. Um, the fit on these end caps is perfect. Um, I'm really glad I was able to get a nice uh, level cut when I cut the pipe. And yeah, these fit and they're nice and tight. Uh, they're not moving about at all. This is nice and tight as well. And it's, yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. And then I've got obviously the two sides. I've got the sensitive side and I've got the uh, shieldless side, just as it starts to rain again in Northern Ireland for a change. But yeah, that's brilliant. Right, we'll connect it up here. So connect it up. We're turned on, we're unshielded. Let's turn it around to the sensitive side. See then as I go round. So yeah, that gives you a good idea with you know the way it's shielded and things like that there, but that's worked really, really well. I'm I'm so glad with that. And you know, I think if anybody in the UK uh, or Europe really that wants one of these, now is the perfect time to get one. I mean that was so simple for me to make. You know, it took about a week to do, and that was because I was waiting for various parts to arrive. But you know, a day's work, you know, a couple of hours work really is involved in this. Uh, I think everything in, obviously I got this for free from a friend, but looking at them at the moment online, they have gone up a little bit in value. Um, I think around about 12 pounds now for one. So purchase price of one of these and to make up the probe, you're looking at about 36 pounds all in, which is just a bargain to get one of these and it's good fun and it's nice little bit of electronics work as well to make it uh, so you can learn a little bit about what you're doing as well learn a little bit of how the tubes are wired about voltages things like that there great little project for people to do and uh, I'm really glad I did it but there you go there is the in my opinion the cheapest Geiger counter in the UK and uh, a fairly sensitive probe so uh, yeah listen thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.